what was the last you know, 15 hours like for you? Uh, disappointed. You know, disappointed. I think everybody is. You know, he's a great kid. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that the situation keeps coming up. Um, I'm sorry, sorry to hear that it happened. You know, it's just you, you hate to see. You know, you wish the best for the kid. John Lynch was saying earlier today that he, he felt like everyone was taking steps in the right direction. Did you Did you get that sense? I agree. I 100% yeah. agree. Um, you know, when you grow up under the circumstances that he grew up and, you know, don't don't have parents, you know, move from home to home, you know, you just make the best of what you got, and that's what he tried to do. You know, he made the best of, of a really tough situation, got himself a scholarship for it. He got, he got to Alabama, you know, got himself to the NFL, but, um, you know, we – it's tough sometimes to develop the skills that you need, you know, to, to kind of make your way in the world, and, and he was doing that. You know, I think Austin Moss was doing a great job, you know, our player engagement um, guy and, and, and John and Kyle and and everybody was doing their part, you know, to make sure he kind of stayed on the right track, and he was working hard. You know, he knew his, his deficiencies and knew what he had to do, and it's just unfortunate that, that this situation keeps coming up. Did most of the team know about it last night, Richard? No, no, we were. I mean, honestly, I think when it when when it, when it happened, I think we were in meetings. You know, when they when they said it happened, um, so everybody was in meetings. Um, I don't think anybody was aware of it. You know, when they went to bed, we had bed check at ten thirty, so everybody was in their rooms. So. And then this morning, uh, and this morning, a lot of people. You know, it was obviously everywhere. Um, so um, a lot of people woke up to the news, and and it's just sad. You hate to see it. You know, he, he worked hard, and, and he's grown with the guy. Um, a lot of people have been here with him, you know, since his rookie year and, and taking a lot of time uh, out with him. And, you know, you know what kind of human he is, you know what kind of person he is, you know what kind of heart he has, and you hate to see see this kind of situation keep coming up. What, what, was your, what was your reaction to the decisiveness the organization showed in their decision this morning? Well, I mean, it, it, it's what they had to do. You know, um, I think the organization has handled it, the situation as best they could, um, you know, Obviously, been patient and deliberate, and, and trusting and understanding um, of who Ruben is and, and, and um, what kind of heart he has. But you know, it, it's just a really compromising situation for the team in repeatedly. So uh, you understand the decision that an organization has to make after after repeated offenses. Was it due to the team and the morning and having the morning meeting that news comes about that often that, and that affects the energy level? Um, you know, I, I, you, you never want to make excuses like that. You know, they, they, they played a good game. You know, James played a good game. We didn't play well enough to win. You know, that is what it is. You know, but um, it, it is. It, it, it's. You're not happy about. It. You know, you're not happy to lose a teammate. You're not happy to lose a, a, a good guy. You know, you're not happy to to hear the news that you heard. You know, because, you know, out to, to the outside world, you know, we're 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 fantasy points. We're we're. You know names and, and sets, you know, but inside the locker room, you know, you develop more of a bond, more of a relationship. You know who a person is. You know, you don't think about him as a jersey number or a last name or anything like that. You think of him as a human being, and you see his trials and tribulations. You see his ups and his downs, and so you know, you just you're just sad for the kid, man. You know, because you know it's just it's just a situation that it, it just sucks. You've been very comfortable in your locker room, right next to you. Would affect you. I mean, it's sort of like. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you want you want you want the best for him, you know. And, and anytime you, like, with all your heart, want the best for somebody, and, and something like that happens to him, and you just like, it hurt. It, it you hurt for him, you know. I you know I can't imagine what's going through his mind. You know, obviously, you know he takes responsibility for whatever happened. Um, but it's just it, it, you, you hate that this situation keeps coming up. You know, you you hate hate it for him. You know, I. I I'm not going to speak on what happened because I have no idea what happened. But um, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where you just you just uh, you want better for him. You have been supportive from him since your arrival here. Will you continue? 100. percent 100. percent I'll continue to reach out and do what I can, you know, as a friend. But um, at the end of the day, he's a, he's an adult, he's a grown man, and um, you know, he, he's going to have to you know grow and, and learn from this and, and hopefully move forward. How conscious, how conscious of you and as a leader in the locker room and, and other guys are, or were you of, of Foster and just trying to make sure that he didn't put himself in precarious situations like this? I mean, I, I think we're really, uh, I think everybody kind of, kind of kept an eye on him, you know, when they could. But at the end of the day, you know, these are grown men and, and everybody has their lives and, um, 
you know, I think sometimes you get if you get to team environment, you don't you don't think that anything like that could happen. All right, guys, thanks for joining. Thank you.